Uh, let's get you some expert opinion. Tim Ord, uh, the legendary trader and the best-selling author, joins in to discuss the global setup. The S&P 500, remember, touched a low of 2,600 on the 29th of October. Uh, the Nifty um, also had a terrible October, but since then has bounced back from its low of 10,000. In one of his tweets, he had mentioned that this level could be tested again. Um, what is the probability of that, Tim? Pretty low probability right now. I think we're going to go higher actually over the last few days, uh, or ex uh, sometime middle of last week. I actually did get a buy signal, so I'm thinking we're going to go up to uh, back up to the old highs, possibly uh, uh, 11,500 area, probably in the next three months, uh, give or take. But market nifty looks good for right now. It's, it's seen as low. I think we're going to head higher. Well, the U.S. dollar has been strong from about, what, that 94, 94 and a half odd mark in mid-October. The dollar index now is, uh, you know, nearing that 96 uh, odd mark. Where do you see it headed? Actually, I'm, I'm still kind of just bearish on the dollar. I think nothing real sniffing it, but you might see around 90 on the dollar. Um, probably in the next couple of months is what's starting to look like. Nothing real significant, but a dollar... Uh, the pattern at least forming, um, the, the dollar and the uh, gold kind of go inverse to each other. If the dollar goes down, gold goes up. And I'm kind of bullish on gold right now at around 1350, probably the next two, three months. And I think the dollar could go back down to around 90 in the next two, three months. So uh, bullish on gold right now and kind of just modestly bearish on, on the dollar. After 90, they may find support there and go back up again. So it's not a long term situation for the dollar, just uh, kind of establishing a trading range, I think, uh, over the next couple of months. But 90, I think, will hold and will start to move higher. Tim, you know, Diwali festivities in India begin with Dhanteras, which is traditionally a time Indians buy gold, whether it's for investment or whether it's for consumption purpose. Uh, you refer to the point that you are bullish on gold, and gold has bounced back from its lows of, what, uh, $1,160 in August to now about 1230 as we speak. Where do, where do you think gold is headed? Is it headed higher? Like uh, 1350 I think is about it. Uh, nothing real significant. The market's been in a trading range for the last couple of years, and it doesn't look like it's going to break out of this trading range. So it's, um, you know, 1350. Actually, I'm hoping it gets 1350 by the year end. Uh, if it does, that'd be a long, that bode well for the longer term. But for, uh, if we don't get to 1350 by year end, then that to me would be more bearish signal. But we're still inside of a trading range. Gold hasn't done anything for the last couple of years. And we need to break out to the upside, and we we need to get above 1350 on gold to really say we are breaking out to the upside. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. But right now, we think the short term trends up, and uh, 1350 is a uh, a good target. Tim, everyone's focus really has been on crude. Now it's slipped from the highs that we saw earlier in October. Do we head back up, or are we likely to slip further? Well, actually, crude, I, I think it could pull back down around 60. I was uh, looking at it. We made a kind of a, a, a top here the other day, and I think, um, you know, 75 down to 60. I'm not sure what uh, 60 mean, but if, if uh, Nixie's gave us some bullish signs here, like I said, up to um, uh, 1150, I think crude could hit around 60 in probably uh, December. So I'm thinking crude's going to pull back here. That's what it looks like on a short-term basis. So beyond that, I'm not sure. But uh, we've been in a trade range for crude for the last couple of months, and I don't think we're going to really break out of that. Okay, so crude will continue to trade in a range, but this decline in crude prices that we have seen uh, has um, you know, affected a reversal in our own markets and a sentiment. So uh, we have bounced back from a lows of near 10,000. Uh, do you think the Nifty is headed higher? What could be the key levels? And even on the S&P 500, Tim? No, no. I, I think we're already past the, the lows, both on Nifty and on the S&P X or the S&P 500. Uh, I got a buy signal here about a week, week and a half ago on um, the S&P 500. And I think we're going to go probably to 3,000. Uh, we, we have been rallying off this low, not real strongly yet, uh, but uh, I think the lows are in. 
and uh, along with Nifty, I think Nifty's going to move higher here too, probably to to year end. So, um, yeah, I don't think I don't think we're going to go back down. I'll put it this way: I think the worst case scenario is is a retest of recent lows, and the probable uh, case is, well, in general, we're still going to move higher uh, right from here on up, and we won't have a test of the recent lows. So I'm bullish on both right now. Well, Tim, final question before we let you go. You said you see the Nifty heading to around 11,500 odd. Give us a time frame for that target. Well, I, I'm thinking uh, the uh, SP 500 is probably close to 3,000 maybe in December, January. That's pretty close to Nifty. What I think uh, we'll hit uh, Nifty 11,500 in December, January time frame. So both look good. They both uh, they pretty much similar. Uh, they mirror each other pretty well. They're not mirror. Uh, they they bottom and top pretty closely each other. Uh, you, your uh, Nifty market peaked out before ours did, but they look like to me they both bottom at the same time. Uh, so, and I got a buy signal on uh, the SPX, and I actually looked at Nifty, and about the same time I got a buy signal on Nifty. So, both of them are buy signals. One going to go up, the other one's going to go up. Okay, Tim, thank you very much uh, for your time and perspective. So that is uh, some global analysis. Markets are headed higher, the Nifty towards uh, 11,500 and the S&P towards 3,000.